Hey everybody, David Steenkamp here. Um, just wanted to go over um, the code editor that we should be using. Um, well, we don't. We shouldn't be. Using, well, it doesn't matter. You can use whatever one you want. You can use Notepad if you want, but this one just looks a little prettier and, and is capable um, of a lot more <laughs> than just Notepad. So um, what you want to do is you just want to go to Google.com and just type in Adam. This is the one I'm recommending for this course, anyway. So for me, it's the first one that comes up, adam.io. Uh, that's the domain name. So if you want to just type adam.io into your uh, your into your uh, search bar there, you can do that. Um, and it's uh, it works great on both Mac and Windows. So um, whatever you're on, that's what will show right here. Um, so for me, I'm on a PC right now, so it says download Windows installer. So um, I've actually already clicked that, but I'll just do it again. And so once you click on it, you should get a uh, atomsetup.exe file. So just save that. And that, for me, is just going to go onto my desktop right here. Um, so I'm just waiting for it. You can see right here it's downloading. Um, hopefully you know where your downloads go. <laughs> um, okay. So I'm actually just going to delete this one since I already have uh, since I already have the other one right here. So I'm just going to delete that one. And now let's go ahead and double click it to open it up. So the first thing it asks is do you want to run this file? We'll say run. Just wait for a second. And at least it gives you a cute graphic while you wait for it to download. <laughs> No status bar, but you get this, so it's all good in my books. You may have friends, uh, web developer friends, that uh, rant and rave about that Sublime Text one uh, editor, um, and this was basically built um, using that kind of like as a template, or so I've heard, and uh, this one is free. <laughs> so couple of big differences. So uh, the first thing that mine does, uh, for some reason, probably because I uninstalled my old one just to do this uh, video, <laughs> is uh, it opens up the last thing I was working on. So I was just working on my notes um, of what you'll learn. So um, anyways, it should also create a desktop icon automatically. So just throw that wherever you want it. I have a couple monitors here. So I'm just going to put this on my other monitor um, that's over that way. So, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Now you got your code editor. Um, if you want to make a new file, simple as file, new file, there you go. Where do you want to save it? File, save as, and just type what kind of file you want it to be, blah, 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 dot txt to the desktop, sure, save. And it's just as easy as that. So, um, and it can handle all the different files that we're going to be working with. Um, it can handle, you know, HTML files, PHP files, um, configuration files, HD access files, and anything. So, um, yeah, so that's uh, installing Atom. And in the next video, I'll show you how to get FileZilla. Okay, thanks for watching.